Hi, I hope this finds everybody well. Today I wanted to give you a quick update on what's been happening on the east side real estate market. Before I go into the data, I just wanted to reassure you that whilst the uh, real estate business is happening, it is far from business as normal, um, and we are taking great measures to ensure that safety is our prime concern for both our buyers and sellers um, operating new creative ways to show homes and to do open houses. So safety very much is our prime concern. There's no doubt that the real estate market has been hit by um, the pandemic and especially since stay at home orders were put into place. As far as April data goes, um, it was better than expected with about 480 pending sales on the east side. We were operating at about 48% of where we were this time last year or rather in April last year. Um, and that was obviously April, the stay at home orders were in place. So we did see that drop off. Um, the monthly stats are great, but to be honest, what's more telling is the weekly statistics and we follow those. We pull the data every Wednesday. So I can tell you that for the week, Wednesday, the 13th of May, there were 169 pending sales on the east side. This actually, this is actually the highest that we've seen in the past six weeks. It was up from 128 sales the week before. Um, so we've gone from operating at about 58% of real estate market um, the week of 5-6 to about 78% of normal activi activity based on where we were last year. To put that in perspective, the week after the stay at home orders were in place, we dropped down to 32% of pending sales. So we really have seen a, a gradual increase um, week on week, which is great news. We also saw a similar drop in inventory, so equally positive, well, depending on whether you're a buyer or a seller, I guess. Um, it went from about 1.4 months supply of inventory to 1.1 months supply of inventory for the week ending 5.13. Um, if we average that out over the past seven weeks, we're operating at about 1.5 months supply of inventory. So it has gone up a little bit, um, but it is still low enough for buyers to be facing a lot of competition. Um, and multiple offers are indeed common. We won't know how common they are or how much people are paying over asking until we see the May statistics, which will be out um, in about a month or so. But I can anecdotally tell you that there's some pretty fierce competition out there. Um, there was a home in Yarrow Bay that was listed at 800,000 that had 17 offers on it within the first week. Um, there was a colleague of mine wrote an offer on a home in Seattle um, just last week and he he and his buyer wrote $150,000 over list price and they still didn't win the house. They fell short um, of the, the winning bid by $5,000. Um, I also wrote an offer last week on a property in North Bend and we were one of four offers and I think I'm writing one again today and we are one of two offers already. So it is competitive out there with mortgage rates being so low, there are plenty of buyers who are ready to take advantage of that. So it still remains a very strong seller's market. Um, if you'd like a further breakdown of data, any more information of how the market is performing, um, if you're considering buying or selling and just want to see what your options are, then please don't hesitate to give me a call. I'm on 425-753-1810. Have a great day and stay healthy. Thank you. Goodbye.